Hello Gemini, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2. This is your reading for the week of the 7th of January. Angels, spirit guides, give me the next seven days for Gemini, please. Gemini, angels and spirit guides, give me the vibration and energy for Gemini, please. What's the guidance for Gemini for this week? Angels, spirit guides, universe for Gemini. What would you like Gemini to know? What would you like Gemini to know about this week of the 7th of January? Would you like Gemini to know about this week of the 7th of January for Gemini, please? Angel Spirit, guys, what would you like Gemini to know about this week of the 7th of January? This week of the 7th of January, please, for Gemini. Okay. One more. Gemini. Oh, no. <laughs> the rest of the... Um, that just the Taurus and Aries, lots fell out, but I don't really need any more. This is uh, this is fine. Um, right on the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. It's like you're holding very tightly to the the grounding, the rent, the paying the bills, or where you are. It's like you've guarded this heart. It's got these Four of Pentacles. It's guarding the heart. It's like I'm not letting go of this money. He's got someone working for him who's can only make so much jewelry if he pays for another person to, to make jewelry then he could also make jewelry and make more money uh, so it's like letting go you've got to let go of old things that you held very tightly to, to your chest and um, so it's about letting go of old principles this week on guarding your heart seven of swords um, and the world so you could have just found out about deceit a lie someone could have stolen from you and it's it's over it's like completion done i'm going off i've graduated i've, I've learned all i need to learn here um i'm dealing with a liar i'm dealing with some kind of uh, thief or um i've i've learned a lot and i'm going to look back and see that i've learned all this stuff and i'm going to go around again and do it differently because now i'm educated or you know, I just I feel like a whole person. The Knight of Cups, it could be to do with some someone of a fire sign or someone's falling in love with you. They want to offer you a romantic dinner or something like that. And they're like, mm, you're hedging your bets. It's like, well, where do I put my money? Where do I invest here? You might be offering someone some love. And um, it's like you want to take a gamble or, or spend some savings or should I do that? Shouldn't I do that? Um it's sort of like that's four of pentacles. It's like speculating to accumulate. It's taking a gamble. There's stuff, the judgment is going in your favour, but there's stuff coming out of the closet. Um, the mummies are coming out. To, they're healing. They can't go up the stairs to heaven until they've faced the things they've, they've done in life. You know, you have to, you, you, you won't judge. And... You think to yourself, well, I was bad to that person. I did do that. That's a similar thing that's just happened to me that just happened to me a year ago. Or um, This is karmic. Maybe I hurt this person another life, but I, nobody's perfect, basically, the judgment is. It's like, well, we all know now the judgment's in my favour. No one's perfect, but we can all begin to heal now. It could be that someone's very jealous of you. Someone's running in and out of your life. Uh, you, you keep someone's like keeps going over the past and over the past and over the past but it's saying to you, everything's out in the open move forward there's nothing you can do the milk's been spilled and you you've got to see what you've got now and um make the best of it okay you might say to yourself i'm going to see things from a different perspective i'm going to sacrifice myself or somebody or i'm going to sacrifice something so that i can have this party or this date or this marriage There could be something with three people. It's like you're seeing something differently about a wedding or a marriage or a date or something like that. You're seeing it from a different perspective and it's on a spiritual level. It's like the hangman, it's a, time, it's a time out. You're taking time out to see the overall perspective of everything. It's like you're thinking, well, no one's perfect. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm just a bit jealous or over, you know, someone might be running in and out because they've got a job to do and they don't want to tell me they're a dustman or something. Do you know what I mean? And um, it's like you're confused. You don't know what to do. You don't have enough information. So you take this time out and you see things differently and you see things from a spiritual place. 
um, and it's it's like a willing sacrifice. So I'm I'm going to step away from this. Uh, there might be a date this week or something, or you might sacrifice that date because it's too things have become too much of a burden. You've created these rods for your own back. It's, it's like nothing's floating in your boat. There's someone here. They could. They might be someone who is took a long time to come forward. This earth sign, because it's a night, they've got no money, okay, the money's falling into the sky, and it could be the reason that someone can't go somewhere or they can't get to you is because of money, It could because here, if he would be grounded in, in the earth and he'd be looking after the animals outside and la la la, with his one coin and um, that he'd got from the crops or the bees that he'd been looking after, he's got a little bit of money and he wants to offer some stability. This person's not can't offer any stability because they're not stable. But you are going to get an offer of a new seed, a new planted seed, which is going to be something brand new for you, like a business or a ring or an engagement. This person could have said, right, I'm coming forward. I'm not going to be slow anymore. But, I, you know, I want a new beginning. They don't have this. They don't have much money. They don't have much to offer. If it's this person offering you this new beginning or if it's something else, planting a seed for something brand new, um, that's what's happening. Maybe you feel a bit ungrounded or there's something to do with the marriage that is burdening you, but you're seeing things differently. You're taking time out for yourself and you're just, it's, this world is time out. The world is, is you've graduated, I've taken a year off, I'm going to look at myself, I'm going to um, feel like a whole person. I've got all these tools, in a year's time I'm going to be a doctor or a surgeon or something like that. I've already got the job, I know it's there, I might as well enjoy this right now. This is what the message is for this, all, all this that I'm thinking Wherever you are right now, you might as well just, if if you're feeling that someone's deceived you or secretive or they're lying or something like that, you might as well enjoy moving forward. Wherever you are now, you've got to move forward. You can't cry over the spilt milk. You've got to take, take time out to um, meditate, get rid of some of these rods off your back, these burdens. You could be visiting a big building this week with the Ten of Wands. Um, like a constitutional building and that maybe it's something you need to pay off that you didn't want to pay off but it, you might be surprised when you go to this place that someone actually offers you something um, and it's a brand new secure beginning and it's like wow one minute I didn't have anything and I felt ungrounded and I could move and now this is a brand new thing so I wouldn't get too down it's just like no one's perfect everyone's struggling enjoy where you are now you've learned a lot look back over where you've come from and say well that was a lesson let's move forward there's love here there's offers of love there is um but there's also burden it's like nothing you have is floating your boat this marriage or this this relationship it's you might be taking a time out from it and then you get offered this brand new could be a ring something like that let's ask the angels for gemini what would you like them to know gemini's for this week these next seven days for gemini we've got codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so you might be addicted to secrecy or addicted to the past or addicted to the way things normally go but it's they're saying it's safe for you to um love so maybe you're seeing things differently from a different side of taking time out to see things to heal you could be doing a lot of healing this week angels spirit guides would you like gemini to know about this week gemini 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 would you like gemini to know about this week of the 7th of february i hope i haven't said january Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And calling your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. Let's ask the angels. 
So you're forgiving, you're healing, you're learning from everything. Um, you're calling in something new. Maybe there's a codependency there. Maybe they needed you for something. You needed them for something. And it, that's what the that's what the, the relationship was. It's saying it's safe for you to let go, let be abundant. You know, there's something brand new coming in here. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Gemini to know? What would you like Gemini to know? Again, teaching and learning. It could be something to do with knowledge here with the world. Um, keep an open mind and learn new ideas and teach these to others. Angels, spirit guides. Could be this just spiritual knowledge you're getting. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Gemini to know? What would you like Gemini to know? What would you like Gemini to know? I'll take the bottom one. We've got to spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Yes, this is this. He, he, he's sitting on this treasure chest. He's got the fleece, he's got the money, he's got. But he's. He, the boat doesn't work he can't get off the island and his rods he's created the rods for his own back and fired them up so no one comes near him so it's like none of this stuff's floating my boat <laughs> i can't do these creative passions that i want to do i can't see the original plan the house on the hill that i wanted the first thing i wanted where did that go you know you've probably dealt with a lot of dramas and they've, they've hurt your back you might even have a bad back it's taking on too much of other people's things, you know. You might feel that someone, you don't have much to offer or someone doesn't have much to offer you and that's why they can't come in. But there is some kind of offer coming here, out of the blue, the God-given gift. There's a gift coming. Right, I've got this sexual tarot. I'm going to ask the overall, what would you like Gemini to know? What's the overall message for Gemini? What should they know? Give me two cards, please, for Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. What would you like Gemini to know? Okay, I'll take the bottom two. Wow. There's lights going to be shone on a deception. You've got the Seven of Swords, which is your first card. There's you, th there's faith, there's hope, there's joy, there's healing. Something's a deception is about to be healed. You're very seen. You, you're going to have an awakening this week. It's God given. There's a God given gift coming, and it's knowledge about seeing things in their true light. Um, you know, meditate on what you want. You, you're learning a lot of things this week. You've learned a lot. But the the sun is healing, joy, healing, uh, faith, hope. There's, uh, there's sun, sun uh, a light will be shone on a deception or someone who's been or a, or a thief or something like that. And you, you, you get a lot of knowledge from it. It's like, oh, right. Um, so keep an open mind and... Just heal this week and realise maybe uh, you're going to see things very, very differently. There's a big light being shone on something and there's some new money coming in and a new gift. Take care, Gemini, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.